Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this army showcase video. I have an absolute treat for you today. We've got a huge Dark Angels army with loads of different units for you guys to have a look at. Now, if you're new to Siege Studios YouTube channel, then firstly, welcome. Siege Studios is a UK-based premium commission miniature painting service with 32 painters who all paint from our bronze premium gaming above tabletop minimum standard all the way up to platinum, which is our competition entry quality. If you're interested in a quote with us, be it for a character which we specialize in, small force or large army, all you need to do very simply is head to the description of this video where it's Says get a quote click on that link it takes you directly to siege studios website and our contact form once you're there select the relevant drop down options from those that are available and for your project and requirements and in the message section include a list of models in our model list format fire that off to us to get the process started and hear back from us with a quote we're back very shortly to have a look at this awesome dark angels army in more detail see you guys back in a sec So first up from this Dark Angels army, we've got the characters as always, and there are three for this force. We've got the awesome, awesome Terminator Librarian. We have Belial himself, and then we have another captain uh, as well. So three awesome miniatures, uh, character models for this force. Uh, let's start in by having a look at the Terminator Librarian. Uh, Dave's had a stellar time working across this force with all the little extra bits of detail that come with Dark Angels projects. Um, but obviously the Librarian in his bright blue vibrant armor. You've got this lovely, lovely cream cape work done him all the gems and lenses and everything fully painted the eyes and, and teeth and everything all done on the face as well as you'd expect all the little lenses and everything i do really like the little uh, on the psychic hood you've got all the little gems on there as well which is really really lovely uh, but you can see every little bit of detail fully painted and fully highlighted through on the miniature you've got this lovely cream cape with more green piping as well that sort of dark angels color scheme just added subtly onto that cape work as well which is really nice all the text and everything done on the purity seals as you'll see the goal work has got multiple highlighting stages on it as well uh, we've got a little bit of uh, freehand writing done on the uh, on the name plate there on the uh, pauldron as well which is really lovely uh, but every little lens even on top of the bolter is there as you'll see uh, all done in a really really super clean fashion so that's just the uh, terminator librarian to start off with we've then got the man the legend mr belial himself um obviously the low is a fine cast miniature currently uh, hoping obviously that maybe he gets a new model in the near future uh, but Bilal here obviously in his uh, in all his glorious uh, glorious detail uh, every little bit all fully painted here as you can see through multiple stages of highlighting um, obviously you've got his famous blade obviously with a pommel with a gem and everything all done there uh, but every little bit of detail work done on him uh, the cloth work has got some lovely bit of texture added to it just so it looks like material which is really nice um, but all the little bits of, uh, of intricacies on his arm all the little lenses and everything like on the head crest part are all done as you'll see there the face and eyes and everything all fully painted um we've obviously got lion there written on the shield as well which is really lovely and that's just uh, Belial. And then we have a, a captain, or I suppose he could be used as a lieutenant, whichever is preferred by our client. But obviously you've got this lieutenant uh, slash captain, uh, again, with all the little Dark Angel uh, extra little details. And there you can see all the purity seals and everything fully painted with all the text and everything. Uh, I really like the red casings on the weapons and also on the um, uh, on the areas of detail. Like, for example, the, the little rope there and on the, on the hood as well really adds to that Dark Angel's colorway, which is lovely. Um, but you've got, obviously, the cream sort of wings and things on the, uh, on the bolter, which is really lovely. Um, we've got obviously a script there as well on the sides on these pauldron that's obviously got some freehand writing on it again another another lovely lovely uh, cape there as you'll see obviously in this cream color with red piping on the, on the, on the little tassel um, obviously he's got bionic arm as well now the armor you can see has got obviously a little bit of weathering done to it just to show a little bit of uh, damage and sort of scratches and stuff uh, just to add a little bit of interest and grim dark to the uh, miniature as well but these are the three characters from the force up next guys we've got all the infantry and there's a lot coming so stick around uh, we're back in a second have a look at those So up next we have all the infantry from this Dark Angels force and uh, there's lots and lots of squads. There's three scout squads and three devastated squads for the army. Um, our clients requested that all the bases per squad are numbered as well. So they've been numbered in Roman numerals just for ease of uh, sorting out the miniatures into squads. But incidentally, with the painting across the force, you could mix up these, these members of the squads individually and there would, wouldn't be any differentiation in quality of models at all whatsoever. Um, so let's dive in, have a look at the infantry. We'll start with some of these awesome scout models. They're really stood the test of time um but just get this to focus for you guys uh oh god there we go and uh awesome awesome scout models as you can see here with all the little bits and bobs of detail added to them 
the uh, scout armor has obviously got a little bit of scratching and chipping on it just obviously to get that uh, continuing theme across the force the little lights and things there on the armor and the little gems and stuff are all painted on each scout as well which is really lovely and um, we'll just move through so this is the uh, first squad you can see all the eyes and everything all painted on these as well all the little gems and everything all done pouches have got a nice little bit of texture done on them as well which is really cool pull forward the heavy bolter so you can have a look at him again you can see all the eyes and teeth all fully painted on these good chaps as well um, and then we'll move through to the second squad and have a look at some of those just so you can see the consistency on these miniatures as well you can see all the little lenses and everything all done on the um on their head sort of gear as well again you can see the uh highlighting done on all the different parts of the armor panels all the cloth work and boots and everything which is really lovely so that's just another one of the scouts again i'm going to pick randomly from the squads just so you can have a look at them uh, this is a chat from third squad you can see obviously all the eyes and everything done on there all the edge highlighting done on the armor panels uh, and the weapon casings again those red casings across the force really adding a lovely vibrant color and warm color to the uh, to the sort of composition of the army as well and um, finally just pull forward the last heavy bolter just because again it's a really cool miniature you can see all the eyes and everything all fully done there as well uh, again that's just uh, the heavy bolter from third squad of the scouts uh, then we've got obviously loads of plasma and that's very typical of a dark angels army three devastator squads here all with plasma cannons uh, again you can see Dave's done a stellar job of adding all the highlighting stages across the armor panels again with the subtle weathering as well on these uh, we can see all the gems and everything all fully painted and the lenses on the screens purity seals with text uh, and I love the little buttons and gems and stuff and on the weapons looking really really good uh, so that's just one of the plasma cannons we'll pull forward a sergeant so you can have a look at him with his uh auger array here just so he can uh, obviously target other other things and improve his ballistic skill but you've got um, all the uh, purity seals with text on as you'll see there as well again those red casings across the force really lovely uh, and then pull forward another plasma cannon this guy's a beaky which is quite cool uh, again he's got all his lenses and everything fully done there as you'll see uh, again really really lovely lovely sharp job on this as well so that's just a plasma cannon pull forward some from uh, from the second squad just so you can have a look at the consistency from miniature to miniature within different squads uh, just getting that to focus for you guys um, and you've got obviously all the highlighting done across the armor we've got a really nice sort of uh, bitty kind of like highlighting done to this with obviously the chips and scratches just to add points of interest to different parts of the armor which is really lovely so that's just another one of the plasma cannons uh, pull forward another one so you can have a look at him uh, again the same consistency from miniature to miniature i love the fact that dave's done the squad marking on the, on the knees as well some of these as well which is really lovely uh, so that's just uh, that's just another one of the devastators there with all the lenses and everything done and then we'll have a look at the third squad just so you can pull forward and have a look at some of these again another plasma cannon here uh, lots and lots of uh, plasma death from this force as you will see and expect from any uh, dark angels force just the last sergeant from the, the uh, our third squad of devastators again you can see him in a very stoic pose there just bellowing on uh, which is really cool uh, so that's just a sergeant from the third squad uh, of the devastators and that's a great roundup of some of the infantry from this force up next we're gonna have a look at all of the death wing they're coming up next and uh yeah there's still lots of tanks to come as well so get ready they're coming up very soon so up um, next we have all the death wing from this awesome dark angels force and uh, there are 20 of them in total uh, divided by two death wing knight squads a standard death wing squad and then also we have a death wing command squad that does feature the death wing ancient as well um but i've put them as put him in with the command squad just for the purposes of viewing it in a really nice uh, presentation so let, let's dive in have a look uh, i know dave had an absolute pleasure working on these so let's start with some of the deathwing knights again really really awesome awesome models uh, with loads of detail as you expect looking very very insidious and ominous uh, again i do absolutely love these miniatures they're covered in detail which is really really cool and uh, an absolute pleasure to work on uh, so it's one of the first deathwing knights here uh, I'll just pull forward a selection of these so you guys can see them in absolutely all their glory got lovely green tabards on all of them as you'd expect uh, that lovely lovely bone colored armor as well which is really cool with accents of red uh, to complement the green and all the lenses which is cool pommels of the weapons in red as well just to complement as you'll see uh, pull forward a few of these just this guy here with a flail as well which is really lovely got that lovely quartered knee pad as well uh, but overall a really super clean finish with loads and loads of attention to detail across the uh, model all the text and the seals and all the scriptures and things are all done uh, which is really lovely um, move across to the other squad just so you can see the consistency from squad to squad you've got a lovely lovely miniature here loads of awesome details on this as well uh, just again you've got the crux terminatus there just with all of the highlighting down that sort of bone colored and stone colored kind 
kind of color on there, uh, which is really cool. A little bit of pitted and scratching on the uh, on the armor as well, just to show that damage as well. Just like a little bit of a, like a gritty kind of feel to them. So that's just another one of the Deathwing. Um, we'll pull forward this chap here so you can have a look at him. Again, a really, really awesome, awesome pose. with the scripture done on the, uh, the pauldron there, as you'll see. Uh, but again, nice subtle highlighting done on the armor as well. So it's not super glowing, but it's a really nice highlight stage that's been done on there. Really, really cool pose on this chap as well. Looks like he's just swinging to a new target, which is really cool. So that's just him. Move around, you can see all the scripture and everything done on there as well. Uh, and again, every little bit of detail fully painted in a really, really super clean fashion. Uh, so that's just another one. And let's pull the final one forward so you can have a look at a final one. Again, do really love this. He's got like a kind of wing tilt shield as well, which is really lovely. Again, all the purity seals there with text, all the scriptures done across all of these as well. Again, it's a super, super, super lovely clean finish model. So that's just the Deathwing Knights then. Let's have a look at some of the regular Terminator, Deathwing Terminators. Again, Dave's done a stellar job of picking out all the little bits and bobs of detail across these. You can see the subtle sort of um, damage on the armor there as well, just to really break up that sort of clean, super clean look that these guys have got. Um, you've got obviously a little bit of text on the scroll on the chest, uh, but every little bit of detail fully painted moving around. That's just the first one. We'll pull forward the uh, one with, with the awesome, awesome missile launcher as well, which is just great. Again, got all the little lenses and everything all fully painted. The little red tipped rocket pods and the rocket pods as well, which is really cool. Uh, so that's just him. Again, just moving around so you can see all the little details across his armor, all fully painted and highlighted through various stages, which is lovely. Even the little lenses on top of the bolts is done as well, which is really cool. So that's just him. And then one more from that squad. Oh, actually, I'll do, I'll do a couple, actually, just so you can see. Again, this is another guy here with all the little bits and bobs across his armor. Absolutely covered in detail, these Deathwing Terminators, uh, but done to a really, really nice standard, all of these. And I do love the green Aquilas as well. I think it really, really complements uh, the armor with that red as well. And then the uh, assault cannon, as you'll see here, with all the little details on the barrels, all the swords done, all the barrels drilled as well, which is really lovely. Uh, again, every little bit of detail on these chaps, fully painted and highlighted through various stages. So that's just the assault cannon. Then we'll move across to the command squad. We've got two guys with thunder hammers uh, just to protect the commander and also the apothecary. Uh, so that's just a chap here with a thunder hammer and storm shield. Again, really, really lovely miniature. So that's just him. We'll look at the uh, apothecary. Pull him forward so you can see all the details that are done on him, all the vials and everything all painted, all the little lenses done, the lights and everything. And I love the uh, the white helmet on him just to really just denote him as the apothecary from the squad as well, which is really cool, uh, which is absolutely lovely. So that's just the apothecary. Uh, we'll look at the other chap with the thunder hammer first before we look at the two other models from the squad. Again, him here in a bit of a guarding pose, again, with the, with the lenses and everything done. Really, really awesome pose on this chap. So that's just him. Uh, and then let's look at the commander done in a really really very stoic pose obviously with that uh, sort of not used sword but then firing away with his storm bolter uh, but all the little details especially on the face all the teeth eyes and everything all fully done uh, moving around the back you see this lovely black cape that he's got as well just to go get, to note him as obviously the, uh, the the commander with these massive wings on his backpack there as you'll see uh, but again really subtle subtle sort of chipping and damage to the armor just to give it that real gritty grim dark kind of look as well so that's just the command model and then let's have a look at the ancient which essentially is a mo individual model but we wanted to display him on the, in as part of the squad for the video so that awesome banner that dave's done here with all the little bits and bobs of detail fully painted and highlighted through various stages um you've got the absolute you know sort of super clean finish on all the little checkerboard pattern on the banner um all the lenses on him done as you'd expect and uh, all the scripture and stuff on the purity seals as well every little lens even top of the storm bolters as i mentioned in other miniatures earlier on nice amount of texture on the back of the banner just to show that it's material as well which is really lovely uh, so that's just the uh, the Deathwing Ancient from the Force. Do hope that you like him. Next up, we've got the little friends of this Dark Angels army. We've got two Watchers in the Dark and also three uh, Armorian Cherubs as well. Um, I should have covered those in other sections of the video, but I just thought I'd add them in because they are miniatures that come with this force. Um, obviously, the Cherubs as well, just so you can see them. Uh, really, really awesome little miniatures, just carrying those sort of charges there to go with each of the uh, heavy weapons, uh, sorry, Devastator squads. Um, and again, we've got some, uh, some of the awesome little uh, Watchers in the Dark. Really, really uh, strange creatures that go, obviously, with the uh, the Deathwing, but a really awesome, awesome set of uh, of models and great skulls carrying a sword there, as you'll see. Uh, but uh, great attention to detail on the cloth work, a lot, nice slight texture painted on there as well of that massive shawl that he's got. Uh, just pull forward the other one so you can see the consistency of that miniature as well. But again, really, really lovely, lovely, lovely model. Um, again, you've got a couple more of these Armorium cherubs just so you can see them. Uh, but I didn't want to not include them in the video, guys. So that's those. I do hope you like them. 
And uh, up next, we're going to have a look at all of the armor from this force. See you guys back in a sec. So last up, we've got all the armored areas of this Dark Angels force. Uh, three Razorbacks and one Derradio. A really great selection of miniatures to add some heavy firepower to this army. Um, obviously, let's start by looking at the Razorbacks. Again, a really, really cool, iconic units from the Space Marine range. You see, obviously, these come with the newest Dark Angel Forge World doors as well, which is really lovely. Uh, lovely red complementary lenses with a point of light source and blending on all the lenses as well, which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, all armed with LAS cannons and Hunter Killers so lots of heavy firepower for this force you can see all the different lenses on this tank as well all fully painted uh, with multiple highlight stages and details um, script and stuff on all the on all, all the uh, uh, banners and scrolls as well as you'd expect lovely subtle weathering as well on the tank and just have to get this to focus a little bit if you guys so you can see but lovely subtle amount of weathering and chipping done on the armor as well which is really really cool uh, they're obviously all, all the same the three Razorbacks and you get a very consistent finish from model to model with us here at Siege and you'll see that obviously demonstrated here again some more scuffing and stuff done on the front of the armor panel there of the paintwork uh, and again you've got that around the side as well just so you can see some scuffs and damage on the paints of the armor um, and then the last one as well just pull them forward just so you can see the three models are one after each other again more text and and stuff written on the scrolls there again same on the other side as well and uh, you've got this lovely front armored section with that dark angel symbol and then the last model from the force so let's pull him forward so we can have a look we've got the deridia dreadnought again a really really cool model um obviously it's not got the missile launcher option on this version uh, but it's obviously got the plasma weapons and it's one of the many weapon loadouts that these uh, dreadnoughts can take but you can see obviously the same consistency on the armor paneling on all the details lenses and absolutely everything as well um all the plasmas are painted much like the hell blasters as you'll see again lovely amount of scuffing and damage to the armor as you'll see across those lower portions of the model um really like i haven't talked about it much but i do like the basing scheme from this uh from this army as well i think it's very much like a kind of like a, a desert kind of scheme but uh just you know very very matte and drab which is uh, really lovely and again some really nice sort of warm tufts as well just to go complement those bases incidentally this model is magnetized for our client just so they can change the weapon loadouts as well uh but overall a really really cool set of armored miniatures to add some heavy firepower to the force for our client. Uh, we're back in a second to have a look at the army in all of its glory once again, and you can find out how to take out a project, be it a character which we specialise in, a small force or an army. See you guys back in a sec. So thanks for checking the video out guys, really appreciate it ever so much and I do hope that you've liked this awesome Dark Angels army, it's a, a great project that I know that Dave had a, a stellar time working on. Now if you're interested in a commission with us here at Siege, be it for a character which we specialise in, a small force or a large army, all you need to do very simply is head to the description of this video where it says get a quote, click on that link, it takes you directly to Siege Studios website and our contact form. Once you're there, all you need to do very simply is select all the relevant drop down options from those that are available for your project and requirements and in the message section include a list of models in our model list format fire that off to us to get the process started and hear back from us with a quote while you're here on youtube do us a huge favor and subscribe to the channel if you hear that bell icon you will be notified when new videos and projects do go live so make sure you do that and also in the description of this video finally there are all the links to our other social media so instagram twitter and also facebook if you can go give us a like and follow respectively on those you can keep up to date with everything that goes on here at siege thank you ever so much for watching the video i will see you very soon on the next one take care Bye bye